always an author? Like, did you do that before you became a combat controller or was this something that you did after? No, I, I came to writing late in life. Like, I don't think I, I was not a reader as a young person because like a lot of people from our world, I was too damn hyperactive to focus on school. Right. Um, I was reasonably smart guy. Like most people that come to our community, we tend to be more intelligent than the average military person, but it uh, doesn't make us better people. It's just the IQs tend to be a little higher. Um, and so for me, I didn't really get into write, writing until much later in life. In fact, after I was in Somalia, it came to me through a magazine article. I met a guy, he's like, you should put this in Cigar Aficionado. And I smoked a lot of cigars then. And I was like, hey, that'd be pretty cool. And you know, that led to uh, doing a book with Matt Eversman, who's a really good friend of mine from Somalia. He was a ranger. And we did a book called uh, Battle of Mogadishu, which is just firsthand accounts from six of us who had been there. And we, we handpicked a, a number of guys for some specific reasons, but really it was just, hey, tell your own story. And I did that book because I knew later on I wanted to be an author, which is what I do now. Like my full-time job is I think about writing every day. Wow, that's incredible, Dan. Uh,